All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Central Valley Business. I'm Mike Scott. We are live around the world on the Internet today, centralvalleytalk.com. And guess what? It's Thursday. It's the first Thursday. That means Art Hop. Yes. With us once again. There we are. There's Mike and Betsy Champ from the Linus Project. And Mike Scott, who you just saw on the screen, is he's coming back from China. Oh, I see. And he said he's going to be back yesterday. I said, you know what? I bet he's not coming in today. Something about jet lag. That, that is will wipe you out coming sure. out of it. That's a long flight from China to Fresno. So you've been here before, and we've talked a little bit about the Linus Project. Yes. What is that? Project Linus makes blankets and quilts for children who are critically ill or in mm. traumatic situations. And that may mean they've been in a car accident. That mean, may mean Child Protective Services has become involved. There may be something else. They may be in a hospital. Just There's an unknown number of reasons. Yeah. So it's a security blanket. It is so a security blanket. Something to grab onto and hold onto. And here, they're very comfortable, too, and comforting right. and beautiful and colorful and everything. Now, you're just one chapter of this organization. We're one chapter. We're one chapter in California. Mm -hmm. There's about 280 chapters nationally of this nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. Wow. And now, is it is the Fresno chapter, is it just you, or is there a bunch of people that come together and sew these things? We have a lot of volunteers. They're called Blanketeers. Mm -hmm. And our chapter is actually the Fresno, Kings, Madera, and Tulare chapter. So we have lots of Blanketeers everywhere and lots of children that receive blankets. Now, you also told me last time we talked that maybe you're going to have them installed in some police vehicles. We did that. You did that, and you took them in south, we, uh, southwest? southwest Fresno. So when a police officer comes across a kid who's been some sort of trauma yes. uh, or being removed from a home or something like that, they yes. have that blanket in their trunk because they never know when they're going to need it. Right. And with all the, the explosions of the honeypots lately, mm -hmm. I just wish we could have more blankets out. More blankets out. Um, can we look at some pictures of these? We just have, I hope so. Just happen to have some. They now, have these are some. blankets you guys are making. They look like all quilts. Are they all quilts? It, it may be pictures of uh, primarily quilts. And these are hand sewn, right? They're all all done on home machines. They're they're not factory made. They're just absolutely and beautiful. A wide variety. And while you're looking at those, one of the things I'd like to point out with the quilts, and I just found this out in emails over the last 24 hours. The one that you see there um, with the nine patch, those blocks were like chosen by this one? The, one, the one with the blue frames. That one. That one, okay. Uh, we had those blocks, they're little two and a half inch squares. We had those out at the fair. Mm. And anybody that wanted to could pick nine of them out. We'd sew them together, and then we ended up finishing quilts with those. Oh, my goodness. So they sewed the nine together at the fair? We did a lot of them. We're still yeah. working on them. Still working on them. And There's then a crocheted one. Crocheted. Another one. So we do do all styles. Crocheted, knitted, that's one of our beginning, that is our beginning quilting group. Uh -huh. We meet at the Gillis Library on the second and fourth Wednesdays. Where is the Gillis Library? That's at, uh, it's on Dakota at Fruit. Oh yeah, of course. And it's from six to eight in the evening. If you have a sewing machine, great, bring it out. If you don't, we have plenty of things to do out there and we, we have a machine. And you can see little drawings there. Mm -hmm. We have children that come out at events sometimes younger than 18 months and they they draw on a on a block that looks like one that's the full block and i do have uh, a couple of more one of the things that we're really excited about and this has happened just in the last probably three days is we will be having blankets in the pediatrics intensive care unit at community regional hospital tell us about this one now each one of those blocks, and I, I think I have that one with me today, mm -hmm. each one of those blocks was drawn at some type of community f event. It may have been at the fair, it may have been at Hobbs Grove at the hiring event, it okay. may have been at, at um, one of the, f the holiday festivals that we did. It could be a large variety of, of events all combined into one mm -hmm. quilt. So and does the drawing stay on the quilt or does it, it wear off? It is. Those are fabric markers on, okay. on that quilt. We also use crayons a lot, mm -hmm. and then we heat set those, so they're oh, heat permanent. Set them. So they're permanent. Yes. I wondered that if they yes. are coming off. And what do we have a picture of a gathering here? That was one of our sewing days that we did at Sierra Vista Mall. That was the blankets that were created and, ter and donated that day. Oh, my goodness. And we do have an event coming up this Saturday at Sierra Vista Mall in the community room. 
and it's our National Make a Blanket Day, and I'll go ahead and put that there. Well, if the people in the Linus Project aren't making blankets Oops. on Make a Blanket Day, who is, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. The magic screen. There we go. And your Make a Blanket Day event will take place at? Sierra Vista Mall in the community room that's just outside of the, the Coles there that's on the That's this Saturday. Side. This Saturday. And what time? 10 to 3. And what should people show up with? Do they need to bring supplies or can they just show up and help? Well, the most important thing they bring is a, a caring for children and willingness to do a project. Big heart. Big heart. Okay. If they are already crafters, um, knitters, crocheters, quilters, bring your supplies. We'll have things to work on. Or if you're working on a project, go ahead and bring that. What would the supplies be? Scissors, needles? Scissors, needles, sewing machine. I'm just guessing. I have right. no idea how you make a blanket. Right. Yardage. Okay. So if oh, you they might have some material to you. Right. Use. And if, if you'd like to donate to Project Linus, we can always use gift cards to any store that sells fabric. Fabric stores, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and are we going to look at some blankets? Are you going to hold some we up can. here? We seem to have them we piled can. all over the place here. They're, they're sliding. Mm -hmm. This is one of the crochet blankets, Mo one of our more recent ones. It's just waiting to go out to a child now. So one person probably cro crocheted this entire one blanket? One person cro this, crocheted this entire blanket. And it's very intricate, and the colors change, and there's patterns built into it. I, I can't even conceive how somebody would do that. My crocheting consists of go left, go right, go left, go right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I think this is the quilt that was on, on screen a on minute screen, ago. Yeah. And some of the art can be very detailed. Yeah. There you've got a forest, and the forest is not a printed material. Mm -hmm. That was hand drawn. Okay. And now, is this all done by hand or part machine, part hand? Blocks like this are created by hand. Okay. Then it's pieced together with, with commercial fabric, so okay. you have blocks. It's put together so there is a back on it. Mm -hmm. There's a, a middle layer, so it's a sandwich, okay. and it keeps you warm, and then it's all quilted so it doesn't shift in the, in the laundry, okay. and they are So these all lines that kind of go like this, that's done with a special machine, sewing machine? Um, like these. Not a terribly special machine. Yeah. A lot of your home sewing machines will do it now. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a commercial long arm machine. Okay. And, you and can we do quilts. a lot, right, and we do a lot of tied blankets too, so they don't even have to be quilted. They don't have to be quilted. And now uh, we have one event Saturday, so if anybody wants to get involved, they could come Saturday to Sierra Vista Mall. Right outside Coles, you said? Right. And what time is that? 10 to 3. Do they need to call first or just show up? Just show up. Just bring a needle inside. Or bring not, you don't have to bring anything. Just That's a right. big heart and ready to help, and you could come for an hour or all day. You can come for two minutes just to come and peek in and say hi. You can stay all day. Yeah, or come by and give a little gift card or a donation that would too. be nice. So I got a feeling that. you're going to tell us about something Another else. Another something. So. Okay. Project Linus is honored to be the beneficiary at the Tachi Palace Community Breakfast this month. Wow. That's on the 26th. That's down in... Uh, and that's in Lemoore. Lemoore. They do have a breakfast every month that benefits a, an organization that they have chosen in advance. They selected us to be the beneficiary this month. So people go down there and buy their breakfast, and it, it helps the Linus project. It does. Yeah. It does help. And the, the palace is so uh, generous. Mm -hmm. Not only do they donate the, pro, the, the receipts from the breakfast that morning, mm -hmm. they also match them. Oh, my goodness. So, so it's, it's only They're fun. not making a lot of money that day, Tachi Palace. They're and they, giving a lot. And they do because they provide all the food. Yeah, too. they provide the food. They're going to pay the waitresses and the yes. staff and the PG&E and everything. That's very generous of them. And not much better uh, charity that I could think of than the Linus Project. So I Thank just, you. since I last talked to you, I've been picturing these little kids and just grabbing a blanket is so comforting. That, Squeeze uh, one. I know. Find I out. just want to grab one. <laughs> <laughs> Feels so good. All right, what else, Betsy? Have we covered everything? No, we have We're just starting. Okay. We're just starting. Just I, have, I have a whole laundry list. Okay. We're also really excited to announce that we're being profiled by the Fresno State women's softball team this hmm. year. And we will have blankets and blanket tiers out at their kids weekend and also for their strikeout cancer event. Okay. So we're really excited to, to do to do that with them. Okay. And to be able to provide blankets at community hospital now. Okay. Well, that, those would be good places to uh, round up volunteers, too, I think. It might be. I think it just seems like volunteers is what you could really use. We can. Yeah, a lot of hands, yeah. hands on. We had a great blanket day yesterday at Learn for Life 
on on the Manchester Mall, the the charter school there. Mm -hmm. The students and staff created 64 beautiful tied fleece blankets in one school day. In one day, I was thinking. One day. I'm picturing like you all get together and create a blanket a day or something, or a couple in a day. You did 64 in one day. 64 wow. in one day. It, yes. And these are school kids. Yes. Like elementary age. Junior high and high school. Junior high and high school. So, that is fabulous. That's a lot of blankets. That's a lot of blankets, yeah. and, and we're really excited. We have four more campuses scheduled for mm -hmm. March. So you show up with the materials and they start assembling. They start cutting it apart and tying it together. Okay. Now, how many blankets would you say the Linus Project gives out a year? Nationally, I do not know. Um, locally? I, Put you on the spot. We're, we're really excited. We are over 150 donated every month now. Every month? Every oh month. We're so excited. And they don't all come from uh, just get together. Some people are making them at home on their own. Yes, yeah, some every people month. make them at home. After school programs have been making blankets as part of their after school project and then donating them to Project Linus. We have unknown donors that may drop off a, a two or three bags at some of our drop off okay. locations. And do they have to be handmade blankets? They have to be handmade, okay. not purchased. Now, you can embellish a purchased mm -hmm. blanket. Get, get one at the store and bling it up a little better. Yeah, just no buttons, no right. things that, that little fingers and toes can get caught in. Yeah, okay. All right, and now uh, I think we have your web address on the screen there. If somebody wants to learn more or maybe get involved. Right, can or they, they could also give me a call at 559-246-7956. And what is the web address? Do you have The that? website, and I'm excited to announce the website actually has pictures on it now. Okay. It is www.fresnokingsprojectlinus.org. Fresno King Project Linus. Linus dot org. Dot org. Okay. And it might say dot com on there because I have both sites and I don't always okay. write them both. Yeah, I like it. I like when they have both because yes. no matter what you type, you end up at the site. I'm so. okay. Anything else we need to cover? Please come out and join us. Saturday. Right? Saturday, 10 to 3 at Sierra Vista 10 Mall. 10 a.m. Anytime between 10 and 3, just drop in Sierra Vista Mall just to meet Betsy. She's a fascinating person. And a big giver, a big heart, Betsy Champ.